Hello everyone, thank you for attending our special neuro class again. Like we are broadcasting from our HQ office in Kagawa, Japan. And like this is uh, actually our kitchen where uh, you know, like we conduct uh, noodle school, um, the running school, like udon school. And so, um, yeah, the reason we are talking, well, like doing this class like today uh, in this kitchen is that like, you know, we are talking about something really, really important, which is uh, cooking noodles. And this is a process like, you know, we think uh, that's like one of the most overlooked or neglected process in like noodle uh, restaurant operation. And um, so this is such an important um, topic, like in the process, like in, in neural uh, restaurant operations. So like, um, you know, I, I just, we, we just wanted to like kind of like touch on this and, uh, you know, for you guys to, um, you know, like understand, like, you know, how we can actually make, I mean, cook noodles better. Um, better means, well, faster and, you know, like in a better quality of noodles and then um, better yield. So, um, First, like, we're gonna do the uh, lecture first, and then like we're gonna just ask, actually uh, cook some noodles, and you know uh, show you guys like you know, how how we uh, you know best um, you know can cook noodles, and then um, yeah we're gonna share like some of the tips that you know we usually follow like when cooking noodles, when actually making noodles um, to um, you know to uh, like better. Uh, yield like you know faster cooking and better quality so all right so let's get into the lecture part and i again like i made some uh, whiteboard here like it's you know, kind of scribbled the whiteboard so um so we're talking about you know how we can cook noodles better and so like all fresh noodles or like all dry noodles even um, you don't have to go through this process like you know, cooking, boiling, right? But um, you know, a lot of um, you know, I, I've come across like a lot of people like who um, you know get like some of the some of the things like wrong, so that like they suffer um, in like you know noodle quality, uh, noodle texture, and then like yield, like yield of cooking. I mean, cooked noodles, right? Um, so better means faster cooking and you know better noodle quality and better noodle texture and right and then like that leads to um, better yield well better yield right better yield means that like because like when we cook noodles we cook fresh noodles like we're actually losing that's inevitable that you know we lose some some of the noodles some percentage of the noodles um, because like fresh noodles like actually melt uh, in the cooking water so certain percentage of the noodles that we cook, uh, we are losing, right, in the cooking water. And so the first thing I want to talk about is pH level of uh, cooking water, right? And then, um, so, you know, we've been like doing a lot of research, like a lot of tests um, to figure out how our customers can, you know, serve, uh, well, perfect, um, you know, the best noodles, right, that they can make and they can serve, right? So, um, so we, we've been, like, doing, like, this test, right? And, like, cooking is such a, like, important part that, like, you know, we've been testing a lot of, um, you know, cooking, like, how the noodles are cooked. And then we come across this, you know, pH level. Because, like, when we cook the good noodles, right, uh, in the water, that's neutral, right? Like, usually neutral, like, if it doesn't contain anything. Uh, pH level seven, right? It's like you know, we we found that like we lose about like 30 percent, right? About like 30 percent of noodles um, in cooking, um, and that that's that's pretty crazy, right? Because you know this vertical line represents the um, percentage of noodles that we lose in cooking, right? So that's that's pretty crazy. Like so, if you cook noodles, right? If you cook noodles, um, you know we spend like uh, a lot of time like in making. But like when it comes to cooking, like we lose about 30%, like you know, by just cooking, right? So like if you're cooking like 100 grams of noodles, then that that basically means that like you're you're losing like 30, like 30% and 30 grams of noodles is gone, right, in cooking water. So that that's that's pretty crazy. And but when you're cooking like udon noodles, which contain uh, vinegar, a bit of vinegar, right? And then so that this vinegar, uh, you know. Uh, actually gets dissolved in the cooking water and 
that makes the cooking water uh, light acid, right, like pH level six. And so this reduces this reduces that cooking, I mean, the, the amount of like, noodles that we lose in cooking by 20%, right? By 20%, that, that's a really great saving. And um, but in case of like ramen noodles, right, ramen noodles um, contain um, uh, kasi, which makes the noodle, I mean, the cooking water alkaline, right? A little bit of light alkaline, like maybe eight to nine. And, you know, in this case, like we are saving about like, about like 10%, like, uh, of the uh, noodles that you know, we, or we we would have like lost like in that like if you are cooking them in uh, neutral water, right? So um, and then you know, but like in actual noodle restaurant operation, like we have to cook a lot of noodles, right, in the same pot, and then so the pH level like water, you know, the cooking water like you know goes up and up, like if you're cooking like more and more ramen noodles. And um, you know, if you don't change water, and um, you know, like so, the water gets dirtier and dirtier with the kansi and the other ingredients, and uh, some of the noodles that are melted, melted, right? And so, like if it reaches that like eleven, right, eleven, case level eleven, then you know, it's almost like forty-two percent of noodles are lost just in cooking process. So that means that like if you're cooking like hundred. 30 grams of like fresh noodles, um, then um, you know it's supposed to be like 220 grams of cooked noodles that we get, right? Because um, uh, fresh noodle times um, 1.7, 1.6, 1.7 um, times like that's water absorption rate, and you know we're supposed to like get 220 grams of fresh no uh, cooked noodles, but then the actual yield may be like about like you know, 120 grams, like so like. 40% is gone, right? So that means if you cook 100 grams of the same noodles in the same water, you are losing like just nine kilograms of noodles, nine kilograms, um, just in cooking uh, water, I mean, cooking them. So that that's just crazy. So like you have to, uh, we have to um, control the pH level. And how, how, how can we do that, right? <laughs> So as we cook more noodles, you know, the pH level uh, goes up and down. Um, I mean, it goes up, right? Uh, or like, yeah, or uh, down um, you know, in this basket. Um, so you, we have to um, you know, just keep water clean somehow. And in the previous class, and we're going to show you guys later, like the cooking uh, noodle cooker that we use. Um, so, you know, we have to, of course, like add water, add new water, right? The neutral water. And we have to, um, you know, add, or we have like drain, right, dirty water, like at the same time. So kind of basically like kind of trying to keep the water kind of close to neutral, like, but like, you know, but like light acid, light alkaline. So by doing, you know, by doing that, like we could, um, you know, like, well, minimize the amount of like noodles that we lose in the cooking, in the cooking uh, process. So. This is like um, probably one of the most important things that we're going to talk about today. All right. So uh, the other thing, right, is that um, so the cooking water quantity, like the amount of water that we use to cook noodles, well, it's got to be at least 10 to 20 times the weight of the noodles that we cook, right? So the more water we have, like the more water we cook the noodles in, like the better. But like basically, so we're talking about so for 100 grams of fresh noodles, right, um, it's got to be, we have to have like, you know, one to two liters of water. So that's, that's, a, that's a minimum. And um, because this is really important because um, it affects, right, it's kind of like, it's kind of like linked to, you know, this pH level issue that we talked about, right, because the more water we cook the noodles in, right, the less um, the pH increase, right, or decrease, you know. So um, that's so like more noodles you cook, right? Like if you if you're like cooking like you know uh, in like one liter and then like uh, like 100 grams of fresh noodles and they like then you know well like um, like five 500 grams of water or something, then you know the 
the increase like that, you know, the rate of like the, the pH level increases or it decreases like that, you know, that's really higher than if you're cooking them in uh, two liters of water, right? So that's that's uh, that's no brainer. And so we should have um, a lot of water to cook noodles, right? Um, then it comes to like this uh, issue that water hardness. So what water hardness is like, you know, something like we've been talking about in the previous classes that I like, I, I just have to mention um, this class again because, you know, we're talking about how to cook noodles better. And so water hardness, like what, what, what that, what, you know, what do we mean? What do we mean by that, right? Is that like, so we have hard water. Hard water means um, that a lot of minerals, you know, contained in the water already. Minerals being like, Magnesium, like calcium, right? So you got like a lot of these minerals already in the water, right? But like soft water doesn't have like all these minerals, like it's kind of almost like empty, right? And so if you cook noodles, sorry, it's a bad picture, but like, um, so it's a, it's a pretend that like this is a noodle strand, right? So like, you know, when you cook noodles, you know, like the noodles have to release some, um, you know, ingredients like fancy, um, in case like udon, like vinegar, into the uh, water, and in exchange, uh, the noodle gets absorbed water, right? So that's how the noodles uh, get cooked. But you know, there are a lot of like minerals and like in containing the water. Um, it takes longer time for the noodles to be cooked because, well, there's a lot of you know, there's less room, all these like ingredients to you get out to raise right? like in the hot water. But in soft water, right, um, there's nothing. I mean, there's a lot of room. So, you know, it's, uh, it takes less time for uh, all these ingredients to be released to in the water. So, so basically, um, there are several ways that um, people measure hardness of water. And um, the major ones like, are like PPM, like parts per million, and uh, grains per gallon. And so like if it's a soft water that you're dealing with, um, like 17 um, ppm, uh, less than 17 ppm, like less than um, one GPG, right? And uh, yeah, let's say like, you know, if we cook that, cook this type of noodle, like this size of noodle, like 1.3 millimeter, 1.5 millimeter noodles, like it is typical um, ramen size, ramen noodle size. And if you cook then this chicken noodle in this soft water, right? Soft water, then you know it takes about like one minute, right? But if you cook, like so gradually, you know, it gets longer, like if as the the water gets harder little by little. Um, you know, and then like if you're cooking this noodle like in the, uh, water that's as hard as like over 180 ppm or like 10.5 GPG, then you know it, takes like twice as long, maybe even like longer, um, you know, depending on like uh, your, the, the hydration ratio of the noodle. And if, if you're talking about like tsukime noodles or something like, um, which uh, usually takes like, for example, like six minutes in the soft water, we may be talking about like 10 minutes, like, or you know, 11 minutes or something. Um, so yeah, think about like, Imagine like you, you're doing this for uh, every day, right? The one minute or two minutes, right? Every day for every single, um, you know, the serving noodle that you're, you're serving, right? Then, yeah, twice as long, right? And imagine like how much more gas you're spending. And imagine like how much more like labor you're spending. And like, imagine like how much longer your customers have to wait, right? So that's a big cost. And if, if we're just talking about this cooking time of noodles, and if you're, if you're talking about like, um, if, if you imagine like if you are, you know, cooking um, tonkotsu noodle, I mean tonkotsu soup like every day, right? Which takes like, um, usually like if it's thick one, then you know it's like eight hours, maybe nine hours. But like if you're cooking them in really hot water, then I, I, I don't know how it's gonna. Well, like, it depends, right? Like how hard it water is, but like 15 hours, like 16 hours, but like get the same, like probably less quality because the longer you cook, then you know the the 
uh, outer surface noodles like melt, right? And then that's not good for your uh, noodles uh, texture. And, you know, then maybe like uh, the tonkotsu uh, stock as well, like, you know, it's not maybe like less of a quality, right? And so you're spending more time, more, more time, more money, and, you know, getting the, getting less um, result like outcome. So there's, there's nothing good about using uh, hard water for cooking noodles, um, you know, and then making stocks. So, um, and then the temperature, right, of cooking water is, is very important too. Um, it's like noodles have to be, um, have to be cooked at like certain temperature over like over certain temperature to get like gelatinized first, you know, gelatinization, like we talked about before, like in the previous classes, but like it has to be like, it has to be like over like 80 degrees Celsius. And, um, and the noodles have to be cooked at um, 98 degrees Celsius around, around, somewhere around there. And so, um, you know, it probably starts from like uh, ambient temperature water and then like probably 15 degrees Celsius, right? Let's say, and then it was like, we bring the bo uh, boil and then we put, um, we throw in like, you know, just one, one serving noodles, right? And then one serving noodles, um, that's, I'm not sure like the temperature of the noodles, but like maybe it's like 20 degrees Celsius or something, right? And then, um, so that, that drops the, the cooking water temperature by, I don't, I, um, I don't exactly how much, like depending on, again, um, the quantity of the cooking water that you use and, you know, the serving size or like a serving size of noodles that you're putting into the cooking water, the bigger the uh, serving size, right, um, the, you know, the more like higher the temperature decreases, right, De decreases. So, um, yeah, then uh, the, the more cooking water, the less temperature decrease. So, so that, that's another reason like you have to have like, you know, more, I mean, a lot of water to cook your noodles in. So um, the more water you have, the more you cook the noodles in, and um, the less you know, temperature drop. So um, the one serving, and then like if you put like two servings like at the same time, look at the drop, right? And then like, you know, look at like how long it takes to get back up to the boiling um, temperature, right? So, so this, so this period, right, like the noodles have to like kind of, you know, float in the like kind of, you know, it's like in the water that's not really boiling. So like kind of, kind of like warm water. So they, they're not really getting cooked. And if you put like three servings at the same time, then you're gonna drop, right? And then, you know, but like, again, like if you have, if you're cooking them like a 10 to 20 times, in, in, cooking them like in the water that's like 10 to 20 times the weight of these noodles, then you know the less drop right in the temperature. So that's that's why you have to have like you know a lot of water to cook in. So uh, um, then you know it takes less time to get get it back to um, the boiling temperature, right? So it's a uh, yeah the the cook you know they cook faster, right? So so that's the well, temperature, like cooking water temperature is, is very, very important. Okay, and uh, and this is a, this has to do with the, like uh, the uh, like noodle preparation, but like, um, yeah, we, we talked about like the resting process, which, um, you know, uh, it functions as like, like one of the benefits of resting uh, the dough uh, when making dough, right? When making dough, is that like, you know, that one of the benefits like we do resting, um, is like, resting. so when we um, mix the flour and water and hand seal like in the vinegar or salt, um, yeah, there's all like, there's a lot of like air pockets, like there are a lot of holes in it, like inside the dough, right? And, but like if you uh, let them sit, like, and we rest the dough, uh, these holes like air pockets are gonna be gone, right? So that's, that's important like and when, when it comes to cooking um if we just you know, process this dough into like noodles right like just like that with all these like air pockets 
then you know when we cook them um then you know like all these yeah pockets like the burst right burst and that that's going to ruin the uh the noodle texture as well so that's not really good so the resting process like um is you know kind of works in that way too um so yeah so that's uh kind of one you know tip like you have to remember like when you're making like preparing uh the dough that i mean the noodles that cook better all right so uh so these are the uh, one it's like five uh tips that uh I w you know we want to share with you guys so the ph level cooking water and cooking water quantity and so cooking water quantity right like to that you know the quantity of fresh noodles that we are cooking is is probably like um kind of controlled like the more water that you cook your noodles in then you know the um you see like you know that like uh, the less, you know, we are affected by like, you know, temperature cooking, uh, uh, water, uh, changes in the temperature of the cooking water, and then a uh, change in the pH level of cooking water. So, um, yeah, so the more, um, you know, water we used for cooking the noodles, right, compared to like, you know, amount of noodles we're cooking, the better, right? The faster we can cook. And, you know, it also has to do with, with, uh, the hardness, water hardness, and uh, so for the water hardness, like we would like to show you guys the uh, the water softener we use uh, in this kitchen, and uh, I'm just going to explain uh, how it works. And it's really simple uh, device that you uh, you know may want to uh, install in your kitchen um, if your water is you know as hard as probably this level. Yeah, like 60 to 100, 120 ppm or so. Yeah, so that that makes a, a big difference in your uh, noodle cooking and you know uh, broth stock making. So, all right. So uh, let's see um, if we can look around and uh, check out our noodle cooker. Okay, so um, this is a kitchen, and uh, it's a uh, it's kind of a rather small kitchen, like but um, for this is like what we conduct of school. And um, by the way, like this is Miss Miss Ikeda, like uh, is the um, uh, chief instructor at our school, and uh, he can show us the uh, you know how, how he cooks noodles. And uh, yeah, we're gonna cook the. Um, the udon udon noodles because like um, the udon noodles are like very thick right big in size so it takes longer time than uh, like like some of the ramen noodles so we'd like to show you guys so this is the kind of typical um, kind of udon noodle cooker and um, unlike um, ramen noodle cooker udon noodle cookers like you know doesn't well we cook them differently um, than uh, ramen noodles. So we cook udon noodles in bulk. And so we have beautiful udon noodles right here, fresh ones. And so I think you guys have, like you noticed that like you know that the water, right? Water is like um, you know boiling, rolling, boiling, right? And notice how he's um, throwing the noodles in. He's it's like it's kind of like separating all these the noodle strands, right? As he um, throws them into the water, right? I mean the cooking water, and um, so the noodles are kind of swimming around. Um, then, but you know, see, notice like how he's like kind of storing them, right? And basically, he's separating. Um, was like noodle bunch and into like you know well so look at like how like each noodles are kind of you know spreading out and like separating like so each noodle strand is kind of getting kind of equal amount of like water and heat right and so that allows us to cook the noodles for um you know kind of um so 
the like um, so the degree of like that you know to which like uh, noodles are cooked is uh, basically you know equal like amount like you know each each uh, of the noodle strands. So uh, so like, if you, you know you don't have like noodles like you know that are not cooked but like this this strand is like you know uh, too cooked too soft. And um, so you say get like just uh, lower the uh, the the noodle cook temperature a little bit because like noodles are kind of floating and surface, right? And then at this point, like you know, we don't want to have like too much heat because they that would uh, damage the, uh, the the noodle surface as well. So um, you want to keep like noodle temperature, I mean uh, water temperature, like at a well around you know, 98 degrees Celsius. So like but we don't want to be like you know like 100 all the time and it's like kind of the water is kind of getting quieter and uh the noodles like kind of like you know swirling around like just kind of slowly so this is kind of ideal um condition and so we want to like keep this um condition like kind of you know, like for um well this type of noodles i you know we don't know like pretty thick so like the cooking temperature is that our cooking time is usually um, eight to nine minutes, uh, ten minutes, depending on the kind of like dish you are serving. And if you can notice, like you know, you have a tap, right? You have tap water running, and that's also soft water. That's soft water. So this tap uh, runs soft water, right? And then um, then notice like how how small the amount of the you know the water that's that's being brought right from this tap. This is to um, you know as I said like you know well keep the temperature, keep it, um, temperature like not too like you know from like um, you know dropping like all of a sudden right. So that like we we wanna keep the uh, the clean water temperature around like 80, 80 98 or so. So and you. You, you can notice that this thing here, over here, right? Um, so there's a hole, right? There's a hole in here, right? Uh, this is like overflow drainage hole. And um, so this hole like allows it to uh, kind of drain like some of the dirty water, like a little by little, little by little, right? So that, you know, it's not gonna overflow, right? Like even though like it's overflowing, but like, you know, the, because of this hole here, like drainage hole, um, you know, we, we could like throw out like some of the dirty water and at the same time like we could add like some clean water same time right so so you, you may you may be able to, like notice that like there are like drainage pipes underneath so there are like two of them uh one for overflow drainage and another one for like the whole you know when you like throw out like all the drain like uh all that water out right the main drainage pipe so we want to have like for any kind of like noodle cooker, we want to have this system where, you know, we you sort of like, we can sort of like kind of, you will keep the water clean as much as, as much as uh, you can, right? And for uh, udon noodles, um, we, we usually, um, yeah, we'll collect them in this net, right? And then so sort of like, or keep keep them caught in this um, net, right? And then um, kind of kind of let it let them like you know being cooked like this. And so you have like so you have this space, right? You have this space where you can you know well start cooking like another batch. Yeah. So that's that's kind of like how it works like in the uh, um, the udon udon cooking. So we cook them in a batch and then uh, we you know portion it uh, later on when we um, yeah chill them and like wash them. Okay. So um, so now like he can throw in like the rest of the batches. And we want to like as he was doing right like he was like kind of shaking all these like um, um, dusting powder off as much as possible so that you know that the water wouldn't like get dirty 
um, that much with the kind of dusting powder. So you want to, if you if you have like noodles that are like, that are like that are coated with like a lot of dusting powder, then you want to shake them off as much as possible like before you add them to, you know, throw them into the uh, cooker. Okay. All right, so, um, yeah, so we'll just have to wait until like this batch is done, right? And then, so over here we have a uh, ramen noodle cooker, right? It's very different, like it's, uh, so we use this like kind of basket and then we cook, right? Like we cook like one portion by one portion. So like we just cook like individual portion, right? And it's like we, again, like we have this, see like drainage hole. It's like this overflow drainage hole, right? There's a main drainage hole like inside, like there are two of them. And then, so, you know, they have like separate um, drainage pipes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, like new, like ramen noodle cook like different, but you know, um, the same system. Um, and then, you know, we have the tap here, right? So that you can, um, you know, add a little, a little bit, a little, like, you know, soft water, soft water, and then, um, you know, to keep the water as clean as possible. And I guess like, you know, just keep that pH level balance, right? As long as possible. All right. So, um, yeah. ah, okay. So just 20 seconds till um, the cooking is done. So, Oh, that was fast. I thought it was like still 16 minutes or something. Um, <clears throat> so, okay. so Mr. Keta is like professional. So he, he, you know, touched the noodles to see like if it's done, right? A little bit. And then, um, so he moved it over to the first sink, right? The first sink where um, he's going to wash them. Gonna wash them because uh, they have a lot of starch um, on the surface of noodles, and it's like kind of, kind of well sticky, kind of slimy um, the starch, and some people don't like them. So uh, we want to wash them of the noodle surface as much as possible, right? Right, and then after that we have another sink. And this is a kind of chiller sink. It's like we chill them. It's like we have like colder um, water in it, right? And then, so this is where, you know, we uh, portion it. This is where we portion it. So usually we would have like maybe like scale or something like to, you know, weigh the noodles, right? But like, well, just, you know, this is just showing, you know, just showing you guys like how, the noodles are like wooden noodles, like are portioned. So, um, so we portion them, and then like uh, you put that the noodles in this type of uh, basket, right? And then um, kind of drain the like excessive water, and then um, so when you get an order, right? When you get an order, like, oh, this guy like wants a uh, hot soup udon noodles, right? And then, because um, the, the noodle is still cold, right? It's still cold. So what you want to do is that like you want to warm it. Um, either you may have like in you know, a separate uh, kind of like noodle warmer, or you know you could uh, warm warm the noodles like in the, the noodle cooker. Or like if you get um, you know, order for like uh, cold noodles. And then, you know, in that case, like you can just, um, you know, serve this one, but like, well, yeah, over time, like noodles get soggy. So um, maybe like around like 15 minutes, like 20 minutes is that probably the longest that you can like, you know, hold um, to keep like this, you know, noodles in this country. Um, yeah, after that, then your noodles like lose um, they are, you know, texture, right? So um, it's, uh, yeah, you may have to like, you know, throw them away. Um, 
to, well, you know, of course, like keep the quality of the noodles that you serve. All right, so, um, so lastly, I guess, just, you know, we just want to show you guys this uh, water softener. That's, that's really simple. It's a really simple device. Um, so it's a water softener we have installed in here. Like, it's just kind of like, maybe like this is just for Japan, like, you know, for certain regions. And then for Europe and like North America, like, you know, there are like certain um, kind of similar uh, water softeners available. And uh, so this is just a filtering system, filtration system. Um, and as some, some people call it like reverse osmosis, right? So um, it's got a filter that will, uh, you know, like, uh, fil like clean, cleans out the uh, magnesium and calcium from the hot water. As like once the hot water like goes through, the, goes through this, um, the uh, filter, right? Uh, it it re removes the, uh, the magnesium and calcium. Um, by uh yeah like the this and then and then um you know so over time like this filter gets dirty right like with the calcium like clogged with the calcium magnesium um then this um this uh, softener uh, cleans it cleans the filter by um the salt water salt water so you have to have like certain amount of salt to clean the filter um you know from time to time but like um yeah but basically uh it's you know, you don't you don't really have to like do much. Um, it's got just a timer as an electric part, and um, then you just have to like add like salt in it and then a bit of water to run it. And um, if you have like a local plumber, like you know, it's very easy for them to like you know um, pipe them and then plug them like install them like you know efficient um, properly, and then um, then you just have like you no. Know, uh, ask them to like connect to and then run it, run it at certain, um, you know, tap, right? Um, so you just have like, you know, how position like certain taps, like at certain uh, places, like, um, you know, the noodle cooker or like um, the, um, yeah, the, uh, the stock pot. That's where like we cook the stocks, right? Base stocks. So each, um, so each of the, pot so like this is the industrial cooker and then like we have like pot over here over here right so for each pot like we have uh, this tap right that runs salt water so um so we could uh, just you know keep adding water uh, little by little to um yeah maintain the water level of uh, each stock um yeah i i wouldn't get into that uh because it's gonna take uh another hour or so to explain it. But um, uh, so basically, so the water, soft water, you know, is important. So, and then uh, the good news is that like, it's not costly, it's not that expensive to install water softener in your kitchen. So like, just ask your local um, plumber, like uh, um, um, just uh, maybe um, the kitchen supplier, yeah to see like if they carry some like water softener that's available in the country. Um, yeah, that's worth your money. I mean, if the water uses like, you know, certain harness. Um, so yeah, please try that. And uh, yeah, so that's what we have for uh, this class. And um, yeah, so like, you know, cooking noodles better is like very important. And uh, you know, they're just, you know, like certain things that you can do. And, you know, and then they are very simple and easy. So please try in your business and um and that that's gonna make a lot of difference like in terms of money time you know and labor um retention rate maybe and uh yeah a lot of like good benefits you know um you can you know that would come out from uh cooking noodles better and you know that also makes your customers happy with uh better noodles so yeah please try them and so that's what we have for this class so Thank you so much for attending us, I think, to this class. And, uh, well, we hope to see you guys in the next class. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.